when were you first aware of the existence of the book um, um, Rhythm and Repose by uh, Marie-Louise von Franz? Because the book was written in 1979. Yeah, I read it when I was maybe 22. Uh, and I'd read a bunch of that series. And so it was a fascinating title and it really made a lot of sense to me in terms of where my head is right now with regard to working hard and then resting. And I felt, I feel now more than ever that rhythm is action, repose is rest, and how important they both are individually of each other. I used to always think that, you know, you work your work your work and then you take some rest when you can. Whereas now I believe that they're equally as important. There can be less rest and more work, or there can be more work, more rest and less work. That's not, it's not important how much, how much of each of them there is, but what, what is important is that when you're doing one of them, you're completely doing it. When did you find this out? Recently, I think after 40. Any specific? reason, anything that happened? Because I think at that age you begin to get wiser and naturally you begin to sort of realise things about your life and about yourself and you, um, you maybe you start to sort of think about everything in a slightly more f philosophical or, you know, quieter internal way and you, you begin to take less, maybe for granted, and so the term rhythm and repose came to me on a holiday, which I'd never taken. I'd never taken a holiday. I took one after recording this record. I went to Jamaica and uh, spent two weeks in a, in a cottage doing nothing. And was really surprised at how much I enjoyed it because I was always afraid that if I went and took a holiday, I would, um, I would freak out, you know, that I would have some kind of existential crisis because everything would suddenly catch up and the wave of of the self would uh, would overtake me but no it was actually really I mean that did happen to a degree because one soul does catch up but uh, I found myself really enjoying it